imagine being chased out of your home, your neighborhood, even your community because of your beliefs. You're about to meet a family who says it happened to them, and we're bringing their story out in the open tonight because there are at least 3 million people in this country like them. So it's more than 8%, 8 to 12% according it to the latest number of people. Well, they also face this kind of discrimination and persecution. Here's Faith and Values correspondent Celia Gallagher. I was scared. I was I was beyond upset. I have never experienced such such anger and hatred. I think they need to shut up about him crying wolf all the time and saying that they're being opposed upon. I, I agree with her 100%. This couple, we're calling them John and Jane Smith, are so afraid they asked us not to identify them. Two years ago, they say the small Mississippi town where they lived turned against them after they complained to the principal of their son's public elementary school about class time devoted to Bible study and prayer. We were with pariahs. Nobody would speak to us. It was nobody would let their children play with my son. The Smith story made local headlines when it was revealed that they were atheists. And soon after, tensions at the school escalated. John says members of the community even called his boss at work. I think they called him to complain about the fact that he had brought an atheist to town. We were absolutely isolated. People would drive by the house, park in front of our house, and stare like we were in a zoo. And I think that um, the real discrimination is atheists against Americans who are religious. Eventually, they left town altogether. Yeah, like a well, nice place we've got a, a nice place to, yeah. to raise them. And While see some them. atheists try to hide their secular views, Gene and Mike Rice are atheists who've spoken out. As an atheist, I'm the last minority that it's okay to, to really bash or put down. I mean, you, I heard that, I read that, I just don't believe it. The Rices say they frequently encountered intolerance. We're regularly told that we're going to hell, that we're sending our children to hell. In the last town they lived, Jean Rice says soon after confiding her atheism to a friend, her landlord told the Rices they would have to move. Within a few days of my telling her that, that we are atheists, she, I, I started hearing from other people, oh, are you atheist? And it, it was quite shocking. And within a few weeks, my landlord, our landlord, gave us notice. The Rices say they can't prove that religious discrimination was the reason they were asked to leave, but they found the timing suspicious. It's hard on the kids, but mm -hmm. our daughter had had no one play with for a long time. In the U.S., the number of atheists is estimated between 1 and 3 percent of the overall population. That's at least 3 million people. A recent study by the University of Minnesota found that atheists are the least trusted minority group in the United States and are less accepted than other marginalized groups including Muslims and homosexuals. I, mean, you, I heard that, I read that, I just don't believe it. I get calls from all over the United States from people who have been harassed, ostracized, sometimes lost their jobs because of discrimination against non-theistic Americans. I think they need to shut up and, and let people do what I they do. We feel to a certain extent that uh, atheists are very much on the uh, attack. They are on the attack, and it's obnoxious, and they do need to shut up. Ryan Anderson with the religious journal First Things says atheists themselves contribute to the mistrust. Part of the public persona and the public image of atheism is what's presented by people suing, you know, to remove in God we trust from the coins or the uh, God phrase from the Pledge of Allegiance. And then that militant atheism becomes kind of like the public image of atheism. I think that gives rise to a lot of... Um, discontent with atheism. When they can talk about religion and preach on the street corner, but if we try to do the equal time, if we try to go out there and say as much about that there is no God, I'm not and the one they want to oppressing. say that there is a God, I'm the one being oppressed exactly. at that point. God, when does it end? You know, we took prayer out of schools. What more do they want? <laughs> Celia Gallagher, CNN, Colorado. And when we come back, tonight's Out in the Open panel takes on the controversy over discrimination against atheists. There they are, lined up, ready to sound off. We'll be right back. <laughs>